very good morning to Sun and all present here. Shilling Ayu Mega on behalf of Vita Nagar International Business School, Center for Legal Studies, welcome you all to the PD workshop. Vita Nagar International Business School was established in the year 2004 under the aegis of Shohini Educational Society. The society is proudly running various other successful institutions in Delhi like Eta Institute of Advanced Studies and Training, Gita Union Public School and the Sovereign School. These institutions are well known among all stakeholders for quality education, decent infrastructure and location. These institutions are rated and ranked very highly by various regulatory bodies. Gita International Business School is affiliated with Guru Gobind Singh in the Prasta University in Delhi and is approved by All India Council for Technical Education, Ministry of HRE, Government of India for Technical Programs and Bar Council of India for Law Programs. The institute is conducting various programs like MBA, MBA International Business, BBA General, First and Second Shift, BA LLB and BBA LLB. GIFT has been degraded A by National Assessment and Accreditation Council, a fee committee of Government of NCT of Delhi in the second cycle. GIFT has been rated A plus by the State Fee Regulatory Committee, a fee committee of Government of NCT of Delhi. It has been rated highest grading A by the Joint Inspection Committee of Government of NCT of Delhi and GGSIT University since 2013 till date. It has been rated grade A by the academic audit cell of GDS IP University since 2011 till date. GIFS has also achieved a 4 star ranking in the IIC MOE ranking 2021. Also, GIFS has been rated as number 2 TAN India by the Times Business School Survey in 2021, 2019, and 2018. At GIFS, the trust is on the overall personality development of students so that they can face the challenges in their competitive professional life with a value-based approach. Apart from providing quality education, the emphasis is on developing leadership qualities, risk-taking abilities and decision-making skills right from the beginning of their professional education. Going by this agenda, the institute conducts personality development workshops on a regular basis. The theme for today's workshop is Effective Communication for Legal Professionals. Communication is an art rather than a science and effective communication skills are essential to law practitioners. For communication to be effective, it must be clear, correct, complete, concise and lastly but not the least, compassionate. Effective communication in the workplace means creating an environment of trust and understanding within the team that ensures people can communicate freely. It's about fostering a culture of transparency where the assorted communication style is encouraged and endorsed and feedback is always welcome. The objective of today's workshop is firstly to make students understand the benefits of workplace communication. Secondly, to make students understand the importance of communication in the legal profession, which is one of the classic professions in which confidentiality plays a classic role or a central role. In order to fulfill our objective of inculcating such expertise in our students, we have an eminent speaker with us, Professor Dr. Pramod Kumar Mehra sir. Professor Dr. Pramod Kumar Mehra is a professor of English at the School of Humanities Indira Gandhi National Open University, New York. Dr. Pramod Kumar is an Australian Studies Scholar and has received a prestigious Australia Council Fellowship. He also acted as a cultural ambassador of India and gave lectures on India's incredible cultural diversity. His areas of interest and expertise include new literature, world literature in English, literary, theory and criticism. Distance education, South Asian politics, Australian studies translation, theory, and research. He is the coordinator of PG Diploma Program in Book Publishing. He has authored six books centering on literature, criticism, and translation. He has represented the country at various international forums and promoted the cause of equality, peace, and global citizenship. Professor Pramod has been a member of many school boards in universities across the nation and has initiated 
several important campaigns such as Youth for Service. He has been awarded as Ambassador for Peace by the Universal Peace Federation and nominated as the President of Youth Federation of World Peace India Chapter. Sir, it's an honor to have you here today. May I now request our Director Sir, Professor Dr. P. M. Johri to welcome Dr. Pramod Kumar Mehra with the staff. Improvised manner. 
The other is that whatever gadgets, everyone has a mobile phone these days. Sometimes I'll have two mobile phones. You know, I I, I say I'll have you know, I mean multiple data sources. I will I will have you no. Know? But still, like you know, I'm, do do I make a communication pattern of my own? Do I have friends? <clears throat> The prime aspect you know, of human life is communication. When, when I, you see, every person will be known by one, one communication pattern that one's, one, one is able to create. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at you are not like, kind of, if you can have a pen and paper in your hand and kind of you know, root yourself, you can, you know, uh, students kind of appearance is that one is always you know, looking like meticulous, taking notes and kind of you know, generating once when you are listening to me, you can initiate a deeper process of, of communication within yourself. No? So I want you to kind of isolate yourself from, from the rest of the world and then what, what, what was the first language of this world? Do you have an understanding what was the first language of our world? Sign language? Sanskrit? Devnagari, yes. Any more guesses, please? Latin. Latin is the you know the you see when when you can step into someone else's shoes, when I can look at you and kind of with a sense of sensitivity and sensibility can talk to you, engage with you. I can perhaps I do not need, I, I do not require any ECG and I, I can simply look at you and tell you that what, what holds you together. What is your point of view? What is, what is, what, 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 what troubles you? No? This is basically I, what I am trying to understand that when we come to this institute, when we engage ourselves in a degree like this, when we try to understand the concept of communication, let's, let's understand. It is, the, the idea of communication is linked to the larger purpose of humanity. What is, what is your purpose? Do you understand? Have you ever tried to give a profound thought to the purpose that, that drives you? I am throwing some questions to you. Please don't take it otherwise, I am not trying to test you. I am just trying to engage you in a discussion. What is the purpose of, you know, when you come to this premier prestigious institute, what, 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 is, what is the goal that you are chasing? Huh? To be aware of the social work. Okay, wonderful. To be aware, to, to, Generate uh, understanding of that, yes, good. Yes, to come in. I mean, sir, it is, uh, why do you ask such a question? This is so basic. We come here for a degree, we come here for a good career, so that we are stable in our life, so that we can kind of uh, contribute to the making of, of, a, of a civilized society. No? Some people say that the role of education is to immortalize ourselves. Do you agree with this? Because the day we are born, our death date is also announced. No? Whoever is... So everything that we do, my friends, is perhaps... You, I mean, you even disagree with this. Is perhaps to perpetuate our sense of imprint on this, on this land. Whatever we do, I mean, people say that, oh, I, I do social work. Why do you do social work? So that people remember you long after you are gone. So that, you know, like, you know, Nobel Prize. This person, you know, was kind of, you know, in a way, inadvertently declared dead in a newspaper. No? And there were reactions. So, also the person who, who created dynamite, you know, who made a lot of money, actually, actually died, you know. People were happy also. So he th thought that I'll create a prize so that people remember me for, for all the good reasons. No? To immortalize myself. 
So this, this is a slightly selfish kind of, no? maybe you can no? kind of completely disagree with this. Like you know, the whole idea of marrying, you know? I mean having children, having, you know, when you create institution like this, you create property, why do you run after that? So that, oh, I, I'll create an enterprise so that people remember, it, remember me. So immort immortality is something we chase. And then, you know, when, you see, I think that when, when we are trying to internalize a sense of communication, it is basically that there is a, a sense of divinity within us. No? That there is a divine purpose. Whatever you may know, uh, when there are enough distractions these days to kind of stop you from orienting yourself in that direction. But whatever education teaches us to identify with a sense of divinity, to do something for the sake of others, to do something good, to, to live for the sake of others, to sacrifice for the sake of sacrifice. You understand this? And you will say this, why, why are uh, this uh, person standing next to us is talking about these things? I am kind of trying to and gradually, you know, inch by inch, you know, coming to the, the idea of communication. If, if you do not have a sense of empathy, if you do not have a sense of larger purpose, divinity and, and what is, what is uh, the deal, you know? Living for the sake of others. Do you, do you understand this term? And every profession, every profession in that sense is, is towards contributing to that idea. You as lawyers, you, you know, Gandhi in, in, in his text, Hind Suraj, blamed, you know, two people for the, this, the, the mess that this country is passing through. No? Gandhi blamed two people. Like he said that if, if, if he blamed doctors, that if doctors played their role, this country would, would flourish. And what was, the, what was the other class of people? I also you are aware already, okay. Good. So he said that, that's why I thought I'll come to you and, you know, please understand your role. No? What is the role of a lawyer? What is the role of, of a person who holds a legal degree? A person who has orientation into the meaning of law and justice. Huh? You, like, justice, you know, I, I think you should you know, look at this word justice. What is this word? What, what, what does it connote? No? What, what, is, is it an uh, empowering word or otherwise? Why do we need justice in our country? So, if, if everyone is underlining your importance, are we ready? Are we trying to understand what, what, what is the role of a, uh, what is role of communication in lawyer's life. I am saying every, for everybody, even for like, you know, you, you may not be aware of this, or perhaps you are aware that even non-human beings, like non-other, other living beings also communicate in a very meaningful way, no, without gadgets. So in a, in, a, in a world where we are in a blessed with so many gadgets, how do we communicate? Huh? You must have gone through a definition of this word communication in your syllabus. What is that? How, how do we understand uh, communication? Is it just one person speaking? Huh? Is, I mean, can, we, can we talk at depths of communication? Can we talk of a, for, for a person like Martin Luther King is saying from Lincoln Memorial in America, I have a dream. Can we call that communication? Communication is basically a framework where sender and receiver engage in a meaningful exercise and lead to something, some message which holds value for everyone. Of course for, for their own understanding. But when we are talking about in an educational framework, when a teacher speaks from one corner and class students, there is a discussion, there is a crisscross, there is a, in a way, 
churning uh, that takes place as a result and then an idea emerges. No? Do you think that I think communication is about generating uh, a, a sequence of, of creation? What is creation? Do you think that you have created a new word? You know, I think the yardstick that every student or a teacher should have, like, you know, and I am into literature, I am into, uh, like, you know, all, all aspects, you know, for, like, there's a word, there's a term ESP, English for specific purposes, for lawyers, engineers, doctors, you know, I am into that. So, when I am saying, I'm, I constantly think about whether I have created a new word, or I am simply trying to kind of build up upon the vocabulary which was already there. Or what what word can suitably, you know, you will always have like, you know, issues if you are not able to articulate the right kind of word. No? You will always develop a kind of, uh, kind of syndrome if you, if you will always say that if someone asks you, like a, a small question and you don't have a response to that. No? My, my, my understanding is, my sense of prescription is that you please understand that the, the role, meaning, definition, concept and the purpose of communication is much bigger, much dynamic much multidimensional than we generally think. It is not for the sake of, no. Sometimes, like, you know, silence is the best communication. Huh? And, and these days, just like, you know, there are people saying that, that if, if you are not able to kind of, you know, on, on the understanding side, listening side, communication fails. Do you think that a lawyer needs to listen to others? Huh? How, how much how much percentage would you assign that you know for example if 50 50 percentage is, will it be helpful like uh, if I listen to my clients 50 percent and I speak 50 percent time is it successful communication huh? what what like you know in your assessment I'll give you now how, how many studies have been undertaken 70 and 30. This is one another uh, yeah, projection. 70, 30. Would you, uh, would you agree with me that if I talk to you about an American study which was undertaken? It says that communication is about 93% of listening and 7% of. Now, Successful communication. And it depends on how you understand communication. Please understand. It's not just like, you know, responding. It's not Q&A. It's, it's the overall product. It's, it's the final product of, of an exchange that takes place. No? So yes, I, I have talked about empathy. I have talked about uh, a sense of you know, the importance of silence. I think that no. Do do you like India is a land of languages, and if the new edu national education policy is talking about role of language, how many language you are uh, kind of ex you know you have developed expertise about? Hmm? How many languages do you know? And you know there is a term called fluency. What is fluency? Yeah, the, the ability to kind of transact like you know, LSRW, you know? listening, speaking, reading and writing. If you can kind of deal in these terms, you can call yourself a fluent being. How many languages do you know? Three. Four. Who, who knows Hindi hai? Oh, good, good, 30% students have, have a claim for that. 
please understand this that if in India you are you are kind of a little skeptical that oh perhaps you no know, some of the hands were like this. So like you know, no not with a sense of you no know, great great sense of uh, claim, but about why why do I ask this question? Languages come to broaden our imagination. अगर आप हिंदी भाषा में व्यवहार कर सकते हैं अगर आप हिंदी अगर आपको बहुत ज्यादा अगर आप उसमें पारंगत नहीं हो अगर आप उसके जो शब्दों की गहराई को नहीं पकड़ पाते हो तो आपको मुश्किल मुश्किल किस सेंस में होगी क्योंकि आपके जो जितने भी स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं वो तो बहुत सारे हिंदी बोलने वाले हैं और हिंदी है जब आप पढ़ेंगे तो आपको पता लगेगा कि हिंदी में भी बहुत सारी वेराइटीज माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वाई आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरलाइन दिस पॉइंट आवर सेल्स मोर एंड मोर इन लैंग्वेज एंड इन लैंग्वेज लाइक आई आई वॉज कॉल्ड आई गिव यू नेक्स्ट इज एम एन सी आई नॉट टेल यू द नेम इन गुरुग्राम इज अ बिग एम एन सी दे हैव ऑपरेशन इन वन फिफ्टी कंट्रीज दे कॉल मी टू टीच दैम हिंदी लैंग्वेज नो एंड वट वट द पर्सन द सी ओ वॉज आस्किंग मी यू टेल मी अबाउट द कल्चर यू टेल मी अबाउट यू नो ऑफकोर्स वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट इन इंग्लिश फॉर फॉर द फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ इट दैट यू टॉक you know you teach me how indian people narrate their stories no so you you, you know you talk to your grandmother you talk to elderly people in your society you talk to like what what is what is their you know modus operandi what how do they develop their communication framework what are the what are the idioms the, the colloquial ways that they they have Talked about what are the like he said you know you, you give me ten basic Hindi films that one should watch no and like you know he abuses for example abusive words no because our our you know language needs no our our language framework you know is all about that so I am saying that in a I am saying that in a in a language framework, you should try and develop fluency in more than like couple of languages. And if you are saying that I am good in Hindi, English, Bengali, and then maybe Marathi and some other language, you should constantly nurture yourself in that domain. If if you have not read a a a text of that language in the last 6 months perhaps you are a lesser agent of of that language no it is about a sense of continued sense of affiliation and and relationship with that language do you, do you follow uh, like hindi literature do you follow any any hindi text any hindi author कुछ पढ़ते हैं कोई कोई ऐसा कोई ब्लॉग है जिसको आपको लगता है कि हमें इसको जरूर पढ़ना है आप अपना एक लिस्ट बनाते हो कि ये चीज तो हमें जरूर फॉलो अप करना है ये थोड़ा सा मुझे लग रहा है आप ये लिख सकते हो दैट आई विल रीड नो अबाउट अबाउट दैट लेवल सो यू आर एक्सपोज टू वाई वाई दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरिटी इन 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 In, in communication, multidisciplinarity in in communication. What is that? You cannot solve a legal case if you do if you are not good in psychology. Human life, twenty first century human life is all about man in his or her psychological entity. We are not we are not like you know. They used to be like you know, at the time we used to be called economic man, social man. We are now psychological. On the same subject, we will hold two or more different opinions, given like occasions on on different days. So, are you aware that how? What are the primary psychological 
trends, issues that people are talking about. No? There's, there's a term for uh, taking place, split personality. No? What is that? A psychological imbalance. Psychological distrust. Friends, please understand that we have to create a resource to be able to develop uh, ourselves, nurture, establish and institutionalize ourselves as an effective communicator in the legal domain. I have to create multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary resources. Huh? So, literature I suggested, psychology I suggested, sociology, economics, good, good. Like if you do geography for example, can you not use some, some geographical tools? Statistics is, 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 can come under economics, no? Like there, there are people who say that a good mathematician can easily become a good magician. Oh, a magician has to be a good, good mathematician. So music and maths. No, they go side by side. They are like hand in gloves. You understand this? If, if, you, if you are not kind of studying different disciplines, read a good, good judgment. Have you read any judgment recently? Huh? What, is, what is the most like burning topic these days? Okay, good call, yes, but in a legal sense. <laughs> I thought that you will talk about there, there is this no uh, there is this system going on like you know Supreme Court sat for a discussion on EWS you know uh, reservation economically weaker section so they, they, they said that no I mean any any kind of government welfare mechanism has to be on the basis of economical situation uh, economical status of a person. So there's, there's a judgment. You can read that. And when you are reading that, you will find that a judge gives you, I mean, good, good 25 sources from different disciplines. You know, there's the economical side, social side, cultural side, and, and what not. Then there's, I mean, and the more, I mean, you should, I mean, as a legal student, you know, why do they, you know, put so much of literature? There's a, there's a literal legal aspect to that, you know, in a, any judgment if you look at it. Do you have a favorite judgment? Like, where you, uh, like, I, I often, you know, you should develop this tendency, you know. A good judgment will give you a, a world view. A very comprehensive landscape, and you can always center yourself on that basis, no? And you can use that for for your your sense of journey. What what is your like any any legal text that you have studied over the last six months? Uh, any. Uh, you, you are in the early phase of your career, huh? It is legal journey, huh? No, not that familiar. Yes. <laughs> Do you watch films? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Any, any film that you uh, feel talks about law in a big way? Yes, James Sorry? Well, yeah, green, yes. Article 15. Article 15. I'm saying that... Section 375. Good. I, yes, I'm saying that... Why do I ask this question? That... If, if you read that... How do you develop communication out of that? No? Huh? I'm saying that communication, you know, watching a film is simply not or not the best communication. No? Communication is when you, after watching that, 
after listening to kind of all the arguments there, you develop your own idea. Huh? You, you write a blog, you write a, a review, you develop it into a more fulsome argument. No? Like, for example, like, is, what, what are the social dimensions attached there? What are the social sites there? I, I was watching a, a, a kind of this, if you remember, like, I, I didn't, it's, it's in, in the, it has come from the West, you know, this person. Well, who is that person? Like, you know, Saul Goodman? Do you use, huh? What is that? Uh, better call Saul. So where, you know, you talk about the legal profession and communication. Uh, please don't talk about, talk among yourselves, okay? I'm, I'm uh, like, you know, let me develop that argument. Like, you know, there's this person, in, in that sense, if there are two point of views in the family, no? Better call Saul. There's an elder brother who believes in, in, in the in the spirit of a lawyer, no? who says that nothing wrong should be done. And that the lawyers, he does not allow his brother to become a lawyer. No? In fact, he blocks his chances because he feels that if Saul Goodman becomes a lawyer, he will be playing around with the spirit of the law. But then if you look at, if you try and understand the spirit of Saul Goodman, you find that perhaps, no? The kind of situation that he is uh, located, it is important for him to play around. No? The way he deals with, the, 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 the way he uses language. No? I think that, so, in, 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 in terms of, if I talk about do's and don'ts of communication, let, let's talk about do's and don'ts, what we should do and what we should not do. Is it possible like, you know, we develop as a team? I'm saying that in like the must do aspect is that you should first of all have a great competence of, of language. No? Great competence, you know, of, 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 you know, through like the word I said, you know, that if you have acquaintance, familiarity and a sound grip on, on multiple languages that will also be helpful. You know, bilingualism or multilingualism for a lawyer is, is very important. You know, if you know more than two languages, that would be a real place. As, as you understand that a language is simply not a uh, set of words. It is basically a cultural knowledge tradition. No? So if, if you are reading about stories, if you are reading about words, you are, you are empowering your imagination. You are developing a capacity to deal with new challenges in, in, in your life. No? So first thing is, I'll, I'll work and in terms of LSRW, I'll develop a framework where, where I'll, you know, Exercise listening, speaking, reading, writing on a regular basis. No? Must do. Must, I mean, no, I mean, I have no compromise on this. That I, from now onwards, to be a better communicator, to, to cater to this, the spirit of communication, I will no, enrich myself on, and you always carry, you know, like, and then keep a dictionary kind of thing with you. So if not a pocket dictionary, use your phones like where you can you access a thesaurus. No? Can can I use a some other word? No? Can can I can I replace this word as, as this does not sound all that meaningful? Can I can I use a word which has not been used previously? Can I sound unique? Can I Communicate, because communication, if it is not unique, it is not communication. No? If communication is, is not attractive, 
it attracted in the sense that if it does not catch, if it does not stay with people for a longer period. No? So for that it is it has there has to be rigorous rigorous uh, mechanism. You understand that? So I'll I'll in a digital age I will all use all the resources. All and I, as I suggested last time, I'll develop a blog. What, what are your role models? Do you follow? I, I'll follow a couple of role models. No? Those who have talked about legal communication. Those who have talked about legal spirit. No? Who are the, who are the five most important people that you know who have talked about legal communication? Ram Jekulani. Yes. I think that in our country we follow like if you look at you know most of us our laws you know meet IPC, CRPC and you know we, we have we have in a way a government from the western you know scheme of things you will add in those days, there used to be a great sense of debate, no discussion, no. Macaulay used to be, you know, one person, no, who, who used to be the education secretary. Huh? So you you read the British people also. It's good like if you read uh, the likes of Jack Malani and, and and try to kind of no broaden broaden your imagination about that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that you are getting restless. Huh? Uh, okay. So there is a to-do list, no? Must-do list and then there is not to-do list. Huh? If I talk about briefly, I have a couple of points. Communication for the sake of communication. Right? This is something that will not do. Communication. For the sake of just it's bolna, I see it bolna. As a push karne ka zoom. Huh? Sir, good morning, a message, very nice, very nice. Ye koi bahut zada, it is not very meaning. If you have studied something, if you have thought about it for long, if you have assessed, if you have, you know, kind of measured it on a scale, only then I'll speak. No? Speaking with a purpose. Communication with a purpose. Communication with a short term, medium term and long term goal. When you, you feel that you are not empathetic, when you don't understand the other person's point of view, try not to speak. Sometimes it is, it is very difficult, but you can always rehearse yourself like that. Minimize, like you know, if you can bring your spoken words less than 50 percent it won't make much of a difference you know purposeless speaking is like honky you know? purposeless speaking is like garbage is like trash and you know Delhi has already too much of that so let's not add to that you know? friends i'm saying that we are very lucky that we are living in an age of communication we are very Empowered also that we, are, uh, you know, we have all the resources required, and if we do not capitalize on this, if we do not capitalize on the resources, it will be a. Should, should I give you some uh, task also, some assignment huh? that you can always, you know, you like, you have to write, you know about 100 words every day my my like prescription is that a person who does not write at least 100 words a day can never be communicator can never be effective communicator can never be a communicator who will create a everlasting appeal so please like you know observe whatever goes around in a day like this and when you about to hit the bed you know you, you, you structure an argument and write that on a piece of paper major epics have come up like that no 
is not that you will, you will become, you will develop a life narrative, but you will also create a bigger discourse for everyone else also. I will stop here and if you have some questions, I we can discuss that. I mean, if you have some observation that I may not be happy, you can always share that. Thank you very much. Communication is a, is a multi-dimensional, multi-layered exercise. If you want yourself to be heard across the situation, across the countries at global level, you will have to develop that argument as an enterprise. No? Like for example, if a great artist comes, if a great writer comes, there will be people who will not be talking at all. No? In fact, people will pay like, you know, if, if, if I have seen, if, if a novel audience comes, they will pay like, you know, I mean, a, a, a kind of an amount worth in gold to kind of listen to them. So perhaps, you know, you, you, when people are not ready to listen to you, you can be a self-critical also, that perhaps I have not invested that much in my argument. No? Perhaps I need to enhance the brand value of my, my ideas. No? That's why you, know, you see if, if, if an idea has to be brought in in the market, no? it will be there in the form of a book, it will be in the form of a, a web series, it will be in the form of like a public campaign, a social movement. No? That is how we, we, we make it a kind of I mean, a communication proof kind of an enterprise. No? You have to appeal your audience at multiple levels. No? So, for example, like if, if you find, you know, you, Jessica Lal case, no? And Nivya case, for example. They, they used to be so many cases like that. They used to be in terms of molestation rape cases and, and murder charges. They used to be so many things. But, you find that they, they, there was a huge public movement. There was a huge public, you know, angst, you know, the kind of outcry against that, and it developed into a major argument. No, in 2000, I think it was 2012. No, well, so I mean, uh, you, you look at at that time. You read how many people wrote blogs on that. How many people came out? The most busy people came out on the streets. Candle marches and what not. I'm saying that, and, and that led to that you know, special, like Justice Verma uh, committee recommendation. I mean, in terms of, if you look at it from the communication side, one case generally does not lead to a massive policy, uh, no, policy change. But that led to because it, it became a really people's movement. It, it galvanized people's you know, energies, both positive and negative. Okay? So friends, I, you know, I, I think that each one of us has to communicate a message. We All of us have a message, but we, we simply do not find that it is significant. We do not actually identify with that mechanism. And I think if, if, if you kind of engage with this, we will we'll develop that in our, in our minds. How to? Okay, this is good. I mean, perhaps your law teachers will teach you that. But I can say from my side, yeah. yeah. From a, from a communication perspective, you see, 
you, are you aware of the seven C's? Huh? Seven C's of communication? I think the first, uh, like you know, they, they, they talk about seven C's and you can add to that. You can make friends. I think the most important thing is, in that sense, completeness. Whatever you say has to be complete. You cannot take anybody, your client, your, your the person who is listening to you in the capacity of a church for granted. But you have to create a 360 degree view, analysis, understanding, interpretation, communication to kind of achieve your, your, your landmark. No? So, beginning with your uh, kind of, everyone is talking about data these days, no? Big data. Huh? Do you, do you, do you know what your data is? Do you have all the data with you? Have you, have you kind of counterpoised yourself against the data? Have you assessed yourself like all the rough edges of the data? All the, all the information that you have, no? Information and knowledge are two different things. You cannot mix these, the data, no? So same argument that we use for your defense can be, will be used against, you know, like, you remember that Sachin Tendulkar, for example, he used to play a shot at one point of time, which was the best shot. No straight drive, he used to kind of play that shot and after some time, after a, say a decade or so, that became, that shot became his poorest shot. It was, whenever he played that shot, he was bold. You understand? But what I'm trying to communicate, then your strongest point, if you do not kind of work on that on a constant note, will become your weak point. Your, your strongest witness, your strongest, you know, kind of research point. Because, you know, you have to kind of keep on adding to that. No? So, no, no complacency. No sense of like reliance on external factors. No, your legal scholarship has to kind of no nurtured at, at all levels. And that is, please understand. Please now, like if you have to take away anything from my side today, that there is no shortcut. There is no sense of no. There is, you, you simply cannot you know wake up on one day and claim yourself oh, I'm the world's best lawyer. No. It is a slow, steady movement there. With, with you no, know, you kind of you no, know, you have to kind of inches and centimeters you have to find yourself in that direction. No, and so it, it it will begin. It is all. It has already begun. It has already begun when you kind of thought about you know, what what is a, a like you know, what is the role and responsibility of a lawyer. But it will if you become more alert. Alive to the fact that what are the what are the roles, responsibilities attached to that? No? If you if you do not have a public face, you understand what a public face is. If you do not have a, a if you, if ten people don't trouble you in in when you are sleeping, you you are not a public face. You know, people if people do not have expectations from you, no. If you are not a, if you are not there. Like adversity friend, no? If, you, if, they, if they don't have the confidence in you that you will help them in the, in the dead of the night, I think you will not be a successful lawyer. For that, you will have to develop all kinds of abilities. Empathy, I told you about that. You know what, what is the real challenge that we will face in the next 10 years? Like when Corona was there, you know, this, everyone was locked up. Huh? What was your responsibility? You know? How do how you think that you as a young person will develop a framework for the elderly people? No? If everyone gets locked up, who will take care of, of the people who, who need someone else's no? love and care and attention? You understand? That is how. So, when you, when you ask me about your role in a court, it is, it, that is an external kind of manifestation. But I am saying that it is a multi-dimensional, multi-layered thing. What you do outside court, what the, the sensitivity, sensibility. You know, look at the look at the most successful lawyers. You know, they will 
they will side with the most vulnerable person and then they will win the case. No? What you will say Ram Jaitmalani, you know, he used to kind of like you know, side with the person who cannot be kind of, you know, in a way, defended at all. So this is how, I think the hallmark, hallmark of a, of a legal person's mind is to, to defend the indefensible. And how you can do that? Perhaps when you how how do yourself when you kind of develop a new self when you can create a like you know when you are not your family's person when you are not your society your nation's person but when you develop a global outlook attitude and worldview no so please understand that the golden rule is. No, I think it is because G.B. Shaw was telling it in a different context. The golden rule is that there is no rule. Huh? You have to cut, kind of cut out, you have to kind of, you know, with your sense of you know, urgency. That, no, no, I'll create my rule. I'll I kind of know. Like, look at how, you know, I mean, Newton's law was kind of dismantled, you know. I mean, people like, People said that thought that oh, Newton is uh, you know, the most like ultimate person. But then Einstein came and now people are like, you know, what, what, how quantum mechanics, you know, quantum physics people lead to the physics people. No? It is about overcoming how what, what has been done by others. I'll, I'll stop. Uh, thank you.